Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a collective read. Um, I've picked a few extra cards for any love that comes up um, just to save time really. So let's get into it. I just want to pick up the collective's energy. Now keep in mind that this might not be your reading so don't make it your reading if it doesn't resonate with you, okay? And just take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? So we have a mature man here, and we have light, we have conflict and defeat in reverse, so it looks like that might have changed to um, getting over some type of conflict and defeat. Then we have disconnect and bored, and wisdom is in reverse, so something wasn't learned here that maybe needed to be learned. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Uh, financial and material changes. So, collecto. You might have some things going on. Oh, by the universe. It looks like it's stepping in to help you out. But there is something that needs to be learned here. And it's possibly about this mature man. It's possible they are... Didn't learn something. They didn't didn't do the work. They're not feeling any conflict or defeat towards this. And it's weird because it's got the light here. They're not seeing the light. They're not moving towards the light. They're staying in the darkness. Not doing the work, I feel, that they're needing to do for these things to change. Hmm. So, I don't know if y'all know, I did go to Hong Kong at one point in my life, um, a few years back, and I got this little white guy here, this little white cat, and um, yeah, I thought I'd bring that out because a lot of my, a lot of the people that watch these readings um, are closer to that area, so I figured that was appropriate. I'm also going to be doing a video about, a little bit about my journey of what I've been through and some of the things that have happened in my life. Um, just so you all know where I'm at in my journey, because I, I seem to be um, going through some things of my own here. <laughs> so um, I wanted to bring that, uh, a bit out about what's gone on with me and my journey and how that might, I don't know, get to you all, the ones that are uh, my subscribers, my divine oracles. They are my group, my tribe, my people, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, my group, my persons, my people, <laughs> my persons, <laughs> my people that are uh, supporting the channel and uh, have subscribed and uh, have helped me get to where I am today. I so appreciate y'all. You have no idea how wonderful this is to have uh, the support, so... So let's see, collective, it looks like you might be holding on to something or hanging on saving possibly when it comes to work. You're hanging on to your pentacles. It looks like there's a lot of options here for you and I don't feel like you're really confused about any of them, but it's more of a, a feeling of choose wisely. <laughs> Because there is marriage in uh, your future, but some truth has to come first in order to wrap up some type of cycle uh, where a new passionate cycle can um, begin. Because there is somebody out there watching you, Collective. Let's see what else. I need two more. Yeah, and... This passionate new beginning, or it might be an idea that you get, yeah, because you're the high priestess. So you can see, you have psychic abilities, you have this just inner knowing, and there, it's, with that, it's, 
has to do with the Claire's. So if you don't know what the Claire's are, you need to look up like Claire Audient, Claire Buoyance, Claire Transient. There's so many. Uh, there's quite a few. So, and it's about having gifts. Okay, so let's have a look. Last one. It's the King of Swords. So somebody wanting to maybe to be fair about something here. Let's see, because usually the King of Swords is somebody usually that is pretty fair, is serious, and uh, they mean what they say, they say what they mean, yeah, they have some regret. So it might have been something that was said or done, maybe they ghosted you in the past, maybe they said something that wasn't very nice, maybe like, you're crazy or something like that. So something that not what you believe in let's just say that and it wasn't uh, something you were expecting from this person and it might even be somebody that you were a friend with and maybe you hadn't actually had a chance to really connect on any particular level this could also be your ex that this is going to wrap up and end this whole cycle with it could have been your recent ex that the cycle is going to end they may come back and ask you to marry them they have to tell you the truth in order for any of this to happen and it's possible um, they may. It, if it's not a cycle that's ending, this could be a new path you're going down. Something very passionate. They have been watching you, so. But let's have a look here. Yeah, because in the recent past, it feel like they're they're meant to bring some truth to you to uh, close out some type of... I, I do feel like it's a closing out of possibly this misunderstanding, I want to say. So, <laughs> now, whether you stay friends, which I feel like you need to... There might be some heated kind of passionate type of, I want you to, to hear what I want to say, and for you just to stop and listen, and don't react, like, just let them talk, let them tell you, don't interrupt them, and don't, don't take a personal, um, reaction where you lose your cool. Now, I have been getting that energy for, I don't know how long, and it's like, when is this happening? Like, I've been hearing this for so long, I've been reading this for so long, when is this person going to show up? And I feel like it's going to be in September, October. So, and this has got to happen fairly soon. Um... Yeah, I do feel that it's, even if it's a meetup um, to just talk, whether it gets off the ground, they might ghost you again. That might be why you need to end this cycle, where uh, you don't actually maybe let this person in. Um, I don't know, you're going to have to use your intuition on this with the high priestess here. I kind of feel like you're going to have to decide what you want in your life and what what you want will be and i think spirit's kind of letting that happen all on its own somebody does need to see the light though and it is a divine masculine uh, maybe somebody that's a little older more mature they're gone through their conflict and defeat, and that may be why they're coming forward to you. They kind of feel bored right now, I feel, and uh, maybe alone. They could be going through their dark night of the soul, and maybe they haven't gotten that clear wisdom just yet. Okay? But the universe is 
um, either getting your ancestors to really be on this person so they can't stop thinking about you. So the universe is involved and it is going to change things for you. This financial and material um, changes. So I feel like this is a good thing for you. Uh, when this person does come forward, I kind of feel like there's somebody here that has totally lost the opportunity to come back. They might be too late. Um, in your books, uh, you had ample time to come forward, you haven't, now that I'm doing well, you didn't want to see me when I didn't have anything, but now that I'm doing well, now you're coming back? Yeah, then it looks like it's more a mat um, material reason why they're coming back to you and wanting to marry you because they want to marry into your wealth. So be careful what you do with certain individuals here. Um, but you will be asked by spirit to use your intuition when it comes to this person. Now, they do have a lot of regret, okay? And they do see you as the star. And this ending of this cycle could be your justice. They could be experiencing karma after this. Yeah, they might have to be out in the cold or financial difficulties. Maybe they're experiencing karma right now. Yeah, they were tempted in the past. I kind of feel like they're, they could be a Capricorn, I guess. And yeah, they're crying over spilt milk because maybe they chose wrong. Maybe they chose someone over you. But you are meant to stay patient, the temperance angels and Temperance Angel was the next card coming up. And that is staying cool in uh, stressful situations. So keep that in mind, okay? So, and I feel like you might have a platform or you're in the public eye, or you're just very grounded and you're progressing in some type of business maybe you've started. And you're pouring into yourself. I feel like it's, and maybe people will take that the wrong way when you are loving yourself because they might feel that your confidence level is up and maybe they're feeling that you're just into yourself and that's not the case at all. When you love yourself and you're uh, feeling good about what you're doing and that, it just shows and maybe somebody's taking it the wrong way. So when I feel like it could be somebody else trying to tell them something that isn't true. So, let's see here. Let's clarify with these ones here. Okay. Uh-huh. So, they see that you're working. They may come back in to come back with this truth, which we already saw here. Okay. They see that you're working, and it might be very impulsive to come forward. They may be married themselves and not told you that, okay? It could be they're gone through a divorce. Um, they could have maybe been in a long-term commitment and when they talked to you, lied to you about this commitment and said that they were free or single when they weren't, okay? So we have cooperation, wanting to work. This is what I feel you're looking for, is somebody that's a team player, somebody that's gonna go along instead of being resistant when it comes to whatever mission you are on for spirit. I kind of feel like you might have um, be someone that is meant to do something with a certain individual, uh, some type of service, some kind of venture, I don't know, something along those lines. And I kind of feel here that they are aware that you're looking for somebody, that you are looking for maybe the one that is all, ticks most of your boxes. I mean, not everybody's going to be the perfect person. They're all, you know, it's what can you live with, right? And I mean, don't settle. I mean, this is going to have some kind of um, chemistry and attraction and um, commitment. 
And I feel like you might even be saving yourself for commitment. And most people that are chosen do. They are um, celibate, celibate till uh, they meet their person. They're not out there having sex. They're not out there doing anything except for waiting for their person to come in. Although you do have to take the steps to meet this person. You do have to go out and about to be able to meet this person. So staying in your house is not going to meet this person. You know, they don't know who you are, so you need to get out and do things so they can run into you. Maybe it'll be at the grocery store. Maybe it'll be at, I don't know, um, maybe you play cards and it's at a crib tournament. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it has to do, okay, yeah. They might be married already, and uh, they might feel that you're a missed opportunity and wish they hadn't lied to you about this marriage that they might be in, or this commitment they might be in. They might feel they owe you an apology, because this is also an apology card for me. So they might apologize to you for lying about being in some type of commitment already, and maybe they used you to get someone else jealous, okay? Because I feel like they may have all of a sudden, were, you were talking to them, you were pouring out your heart to them, and, um, and it's possible that they didn't, they didn't reciprocate, or if they did, they weren't, um, they weren't looking for commitment maybe from you. Maybe they were just looking for a piece of ass. <laughs> just saying. But the truth will come out about this marriage or that they wish they had married you instead. Or they wish they had pursued this with you and gave up the other person. So something here will wrap up. Let's see what is it. And this is in the near future coming up. Okay, that's a lot of cards. Yeah, it's not that bad. Okay, so there's going to be some healing or needing to heal from this wrap-up um, of this situation with this person. Uh, there is justice that's going to come in for this person. Uh, or you're going to get your dharma. Um, and you're not going to be too excited about anyone else coming forward to you uh, because of this experience. You might be a little, um, maybe you might be seen as a little cold or guarded or um, yeah, you're looking for truth and clarity and someone that's not going to uh, well, I guess you're looking for somebody that's going to be forthcoming. You shouldn't have to ask for the information. That should just be told their intentions and what they want from you and yada yada yada, you know? So for this new passionate beginning, people might kind of see you guarded. This person that's watching you that wants to come in here, let's see here. What's the Page of Swords? These are outside influences. So, Four of Pentacles, they're hanging on to you, I feel. This person that's watching you, and you may not know who this is, actually. So, use your intuition, though. That is, I keep going back to that because I really feel like Spirit wants you to... Um, make this decision on your own and depending on how you deal with these people that come into your life uh, where you, that keep your cool keeps coming up for me um, in stressful situations let hear them out let them speak and don't jump all over them you know um, have that patience and really see how you look to yourself you know what I mean like if you feeling like you're getting round wound up and you're gonna say something have a look at yourself in a higher perspective as 
it's just a reminder of you need to keep your cool, you need to keep your cool, and maybe that runs through your mind when you look at your higher self. Um, I need to keep my cool about this. Uh, let them try to explain, and then you can decide. And maybe you want to take some time more than just that few seconds of them telling you and then expect you to give them an answer about whatever it is they want from you. Take some time to really think it through. Maybe it needs to be a couple days and maybe you'll tell them I'll get back to you or <laughs> I don't know. But it, you will get a victory here. And you might be somebody that is already in the public eye. So I kind of feel like your victory is really going to be something you really feel is important when it comes to getting through some of these challenges and obstacles that maybe you are going to go through as the collective. Now who is this King of Swords? What is that about? Please Spirit, what's the King of Swords about? It's somebody that wants to be fair, I feel. Yeah, it might be something that you end when it comes to this person, or it could be a rebirth, and it's going to be up to you. I kind of feel like Spirit is going to grant you whatever, whoever you're wanting to spend the rest of your life with. But I do feel like if you leave this person, these people behind, and you're not going back to the past, Spirit has somebody that's really great for you in the near future that might be coming in for you, okay? Let's see. What is this death card? Is it a rebirth? Let's see. There's some healing and the balancing of the scales. So I kind of feel like whatever you end up doing, whether you heal this relationship with this person, this king of swords, with this divine masculine, I feel like I might be talking to all the divine feminines here that might be classed as guarded, okay? Don't forget that forgiveness is huge when it comes to being spiritual. That is the spiritual way, okay? So we have that Six of Pentacles, which is balancing the scales, being generous about how you feel, share what you're feeling, don't hold it back. Tell them exactly how you're feeling or what you're looking for and you'll make the right decision I feel I, but I do feel like it's something that you need to follow your heart about I mean you want to still use your intellect right but don't don't overthink it and don't let it be something that is just from your mind and not to do with your heart your heart is where the highest frequency lies okay it is about love so I feel like you're going to be just fine when it comes to that yeah and you might have to leave this person out in the cold they may not be able to come with you to the next level that you are ascending to and I do feel a lot of ascent ascension here I do feel like even my myself even me myself have um, been ascending and doing some more um, shadow work. Uh, I had to take a couple days. I um, was with my family for a couple of those days and stuff. So I had a chance to regroup and uh, I feel good now that I've uh, had a couple of days off. I, I did need to recharge and I didn't want to burn out for you guys because I want to be able to still give you your messages especially when I have spirits kind of pulling at me to do so so let's look at here I'm gonna give you this phrase right now okay the secret phrase is spirituality is the new sexy for all my divine oracles <laughs> <laughs> and those are all my people that are subscribed to my channel. You are the Divine Oracle. You have that knowing of what your steps need to be. You're going to use your um, gifts 
and your insight, your intuition, and don't ignore that intuition, okay, based on wanting to maybe be with somebody, use that intuition about which way to go, whether it feels right or wrong, but it does look like this person's not supposed to come with you. There is love coming in. You are going to feel a little bit wounded. There might be somebody that puts you in a competition or there are people, more people than you realize that are competing for your love. People are coming in quickly or there is one in particular that's coming in quickly and I mean very quickly with the eight of wands and the chariot it might even be a proposal with the eight of wands okay and this might be something you manifested you might need to change your perspective here because there might be somebody that they haven't let go before they offer you a cup which could trigger a huge tower moment for this person and you might need to be patient you might put that burden down and just say you know what you do you i'm out and i'm out <laughs> And you're going to make a judgment call because you don't want any secret shady ass behavior. You aren't going to be juggled by anybody. You aren't feeling defeated because you did nothing wrong. Okay? And there will be an offer coming in the future. You just need to be strong because you are the star. And this person might take a while. To get here, they might take too long where you close out the cycle, okay? And then that King of Swords is here. So, but they have a Queen of Wands here, and they're kind of stuck of which way to go. They want a new beginning, but they have some regret, and there is another offer here that might end up giving you your Ten of Pentacles and a new beginning you just have to choose wisely but i think you're going to take that leap of faith because you are still single and you're abundant and you don't need anyone you're just looking for that last cup to share your life with you know where you have your own thing they have their own thing but you do things together and it's a great relationship and it's something you've been looking for and wanting for a very long time and you're gonna celebrate because you're gonna find the right path when it comes to love okay so I'm just gonna leave it like that let's have a look here we have angel messages the age of light you've been training for this for lifetimes so this is something that you have knowledge about already if you were to be able to go back to your akasha akasha rush i can't talk your akashic records let's see answer the call what your soul is calling you to do and that is when it comes to this these people in your life who you need to walk away from who can come with you forward and who can't but there is going to be an engagement here. Wow, that's awesome. And it's going to be a true love. Holy crap. And a wedding. And it's funny because I just randomly picked these cards. <laughs> wow. So it's like how many, how much time do you have left? Okay, because spirit wants you to live your best life. Maybe you're an older person and um you've been waiting for this type of love for a lifetime i know i have so feeling balanced centered and in the flow is going to bring this person in for you yes have boundaries you need to have your boundaries when it comes to certain individuals i don't know if you can see that and i kind of feel like maybe you didn't have them so much in the past for people and maybe they walked a little too much on uh, all over you and yeah 
look into things too. Don't just take somebody's word for it because you've been lied to a lot in your life. Okay? Have self-control and have faith. See that? Self-control again. And that was what I was feeling. And then we have sacred union. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, and sexual union. Wow. Ooh, la, la. <laughs> so, sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship, for it's truly sacred. And then we have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. Maybe this is your uh, twin flame or a high level soulmate. Maybe this is somebody in, from your past life, even. I'm feeling that really huge uh, magnetic type of union where it's undeniable how you really feel about this person and it's something that really um, warms your heart, makes you really feel good about being with this person. So honor the place one another where you are one eternal soul for there will be there you will find true bliss so wow that's crazy that looks so awesome for the collective I am just so ecstatic with that so we'll be getting a free reading reading by me I will be taking a picture of their cards I will be typing up what has come to me in the cards because I am intuitive and I will be giving your message to you via email so I will need to um, once I speak on who has won in my next video then what I will be doing is um, getting that person to leave their email for me uh, to email me and I will um, talk to them by email and we will set something up okay so and there'll be two questions that you'll be able to ask me and um, I will ask those questions when I do your reading and I might even do a little video blurb in your via email um, I haven't decided on that yet so we'll see and uh, yeah I'm gonna leave it there with you guys please like share and subscribe yeah just give me that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing and uh, yeah, we'll see y'all later, all right? Take care, later.